The Rangers looked up and saw the enemy soldiers, the edge of the cliffs, shooting down at them with machine guns and throwing grenades. And the American Rangers began to climb. But these were American Rangers. They were ready. They ran toward the cliffs and mines planted on the beach by Field Marshal Rommel, exploded around them. But still they kept coming. They shot rope ladders over the face of these cliffs and began to pull themselves up. They launched their ladders, the ropes, and grappling hooks, and they began to climb. When one ranger fell, another would take his place. When the Nazis cut their ladders, the rangers used the ropes. When one rope was cut, a ranger would grab another and begin his climb again. When the Nazis cut their ropes, the rangers used their hands. They climbed, shot back, and held their footing. Soon, one by one, the rangers pulled themselves over the top. And inch by inch, foot by foot, yard by yard, the rangers clawed, literally clawed their way up this mighty precipice. And in seizing the firm land at the top of these cliffs, they began to seize back the continent of Europe. They breached Hitler's Atlantic Wall, and they turned in that one effort the tide of the war. The great communicator, strike that. The great imitator. Biden's critics say he sells himself as a man whose words and visions can inspire a new generation in politics. But if the thoughts, phrases, and visions really belong to others, it's a form of false advertising. Biden seemed to be claiming Kinnick's vision and life as his own. Why is it that my wife is sitting out there in the audience is the first in her family to ever go to college? Why is Gladys the first woman in her family in a thousand generations to be able to get the university? My ancestors who worked in the coal mines in northeast Pennsylvania and come up after 12 hours and play football. Eight hours underground and then come up and play football. The Senator Joseph Biden, have you seen the problem he's been having? He went around and made a speech. And apparently he quoted a, I think it was a British politician, took his speech and kind of paraphrased it as his own. And then the press got on him, and then he was charged also with taking part of Bobby Kennedy's speeches. And Biden says, not to worry, he reassured his staff, he said, we have nothing to fear, but fear itself. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm the great pretender.